number of Americans who are going solo continues to rise. A new report by the Pew Research Center shows that just over 42% of adults in the U.S. continue or live without a spouse or a partner, which is up from nearly 39% 10 years ago. The trend is especially true with younger adults. 60% of them under 35 do not have a partner. And when you go through and read this, they're trying really hard to find the why behind this because these numbers are pretty significant. When we're looking at just a difference in 10 years and you're seeing a jump of about 10, 15 percent, uh, they're trying to look and they're trying to figure this out, Susan Elizabeth. They think the recession could be one thing. We're kind of now just starting to get the data in from the last 10 or 15 years. Uh, and that volatile incomes were a little bit of a concern there. Mm -hmm. Also, divorce rates, mm -hmm. people are concerned about that. I think that's a big part of it. I mean, it's inconclusive right now. There's no clear answer to what this is, but I think in my generation, children of the 80s, so many people saw their parents get a divorce. They're making a very conscious decision about partnering. Mm -hmm. They're making their own income. It makes sense that they put that off. The way this research d defines uh, li living solo also includes people who are living with their parents. Mm -hmm. oh, so when you dig sure. down into the demographic, the uh, people, adults under the age of 35, 61% are flying solo. And it was 56% 10 years ago. So that's a 5% mm -hmm. uh, uh, change there. That's pretty significant. Let me tell and you, you think some of those folks are living with their parents, right? Let me tell oh, you yeah. what my brother says about living with your parents. The only bad part is telling people. No. <laughs> Does he live at home with the parents? <laughs> he did for a while. Yeah, Don't you think, has, have views on being single changed in this country? Definitely. I feel like oh, yes, it definitely. used to be, especially for a, a female, mm -hmm. if a female said that, oh, I'm 32 I'm and an single. Old maid. Yeah, yeah, people would look and be like, oh, I wonder what's wrong with her. Well, right. And, and so now it's, I think it's very different. And that was one of the things that they brought up is that actually women are more financially independent on their own. And oftentimes yeah. they're not wanting to get linked to someone financially with marriage because of kind of the concern that oh, maybe their partner wouldn't be as stable as them. So you yeah. wonder if that, like because of the volatile incomes where maybe you're doing really well, but at one point you weren't, mm -hmm. you worry about linking yourself in that way to someone else. I don't think marriage is, it's not the priority anymore. I yeah. think it definitely used to be, it used to be the thing that you did and it's just not. I think it'll be very interesting to see the ongoing sociological effects of this though, because mm, as right. wonderful as it is that people are able to choose to be single, there are times in life where you need to lean on a community. Absolutely. And having a partner is really helpful in those times. There's mm -hmm. all sorts of research to back that up. Will this generation create a different form of partnership? Oh, wow. That's what's interesting to see what will happen. It may not be your husband or wife or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. It might be a lifelong best friend. We don't know, but it'll be interesting to see. That will be interesting.